today's project is going to be painting Yoda and as a fan of Star Wars this is going to be fun for me to do. I started off with a white undercoat and after the white undercoat was dry I used up Shabti Brown first to cover the cloak area. Once the paint was dry I used a 50-50 mix of Zamesi Desert and water. And I'm using water because I want it to flow nice and easy. But I want the uh, previous colour to still be able to show through. And then once that was dry, I made a 50-50 mix with the Upshapti bone and the padded witch flesh. Next for the trousers, I'm using an old Citadel miniature paint called Swamp Brown. Uh, the nearest colour I can think of to this with the newer paints would be Gawthorn Brown. However, this, this one is just a little bit lighter in colour. But they've both got a nice chocolatey look to the colour. And once the paint was dry, I then mixed it with the Upshapti Bone for the highlight. Next we've applied some silver for the handle part of the lightsaber because it's easier to paint it now than it is to paint it a bit later on. And now we're using wall boss green to cover the skin areas on both the face, hands and feet. Once the initial coat is dry I then added Upshapti Bone to the wall boss green and then I started with a, approximately a two parts green to one part Shapti Bone. And then after that, I was using the Shapti Bone directly to apply it directly onto the miniature and wet blending it to save time with the highlighting process. But obviously with something like the face, you want to put a little bit of extra detail in to make sure it stands out. Here you'll notice that the miniature has been stuck onto a paint pot with a bit of blue tack just to hold it in place and the reason why I've done this is so when I'm applying the uh, brown paint which is Rhinox Hide that I'm using I want to get some of the paint on the underside of the base because obviously the sharp edges are where the paint tends to chip off so you want to try and create a skin enveloping both the top and the underside just to try and prevent it from chipping off for the highlights on the base, I've used the Rhinox hide and I've applied the first coat first to make sure we get into all the nooks and crannies. And then I leave it to dry and make sure it's completely dry. Then what I'm doing is I'm applying the Rhinox hide again on a small section of the base. And then I'm using the Upshapti bone to wet blend into the colours. You'll notice with the this miniature in question that highlighting this I've constantly used of Shabti Bone to, to use a highlighting the base colours and the reason why I'm doing this is it helps to turn all those base colours in and neutralise the colours somewhat which with this miniature being a Jedi they tend to keep things pretty simple so that helps to Moot Green was applied to the blade of the lightsaber the claws were painted with Upshapti Bone and then a final highlight for the claws with the Pallid Leech Flesh and White Scar was used for the eyes and then Abaddon Black was applied for the pupils the base however also had a couple of layers of water te texture the first coat I applied a small amount of wine oxide into the water effect and left it to dry and then built up layers of the water effect. To add a little bit of extra detail to the swamp area I applied some mixed herbs onto the area where the water effect was while the water effect is still wet and the best way to apply this is to dip your modeling knife into the water effect and then the moisture on the end of your knife will make the pieces of the mixed herbs stick to the knife 
once you apply it onto the water effect on your miniature it will then just come off quite easily and this helps to give the impression that there's bit, bits of things like for example leaves floating around in the water also if you're interested in it I've done a video in the past about doing swamp bases if you'd like to look at that if you like the video remember to like share and click on the button on the lower right hand side to subscribe.